Well now it's time for this week's Practice Makes Perfect and Steve today we're looking at a very important part of the game, the putting technique. And you've got a wonderful device there I can see. Certainly do, it's called the laser putter. Fantastic, so obviously a laser is involved in this. Certainly is, it's quite safe as well so there's no problems with, with that uh, yep. factor there. But uh, what, what this is designed is it's, it's a laser built into this putter grip and it actually gives us a reference on the ground. So, so you've got two buttons there on the grip, have you? Yeah, I have, and I'm, as I take my grip, it nat naturally activates them yes. for me, so it's uh, pretty simple to use. And uh, the first uh, aspect of this uh, device is alignment, and, and as you can see, if I'm setting up sure. square with my shoulders and square with my putter face, the laser mark on the ground there will be, will be square. Now, should I set up a little bit to the right, you yep. notice that laser mark moves with my face or my path, and vice versa, if I set up to the left, that laser mark also moves to the left. So, Steve, what percentage of bad putters have a bad setup? I suppose this would be, uh, this would be uh, priceless, wouldn't it? Yeah. 100%. Yes. So, <laughs> if you're not putting too well, it uh, generally all starts at the setup as a derivative cause and yeah. then and goes on from there. Sure. So, um, we need to get this correct. Now, as I swing back, now that I've established the correct setup, uh, we'll see that the actual path and uh, club face stay wow. pretty much square to the plane and you'll see that that laser mark uh, on the ground there is, uh, is matching and that'll actually work out quite good. If I've gone outside, yep. uh, you'll see that laser takes it outside on the ground and of course uh, inside the same. So we've really got that feedback as we, as we take the putter back with our putting stroke. Now also, as we swing the putter in motion, we get a, an actual rhythm feedback. So you're getting a, getting a good rhythm with and, a, and a good sort of tempo with your putting stroke. I am, yeah. yeah. So that laser's going back nice and smooth in both directions, whereas we tend to get a, a quicker, there's a change of acceleration manually yeah. there, we'll, we'll see that laser flash past our eyes. Well, I can imagine you could use this sort of indoors and just sort of along a, a tile, a, a tile line or, or a skirting board mm. and just get that sort of tempo going backwards and forwards sure. and keeping the, the, everything nice and square. Yeah, this is a great home use product and, it can, and, and as what I'm about to show you now, John, it can actually be used during a swing, practically hitting balls. A lot of okay. training aids we see are separate to actually hitting a golf ball. Yeah. Well, this is actually incorporated into the whole process. Sure, so yeah. As I hit balls here, as I hit these uh, next few putts, my eyes will be on the plane, yeah. which is a fundamental of golf that I teach. But, uh, but as we make our stroke, we'll see if we can actually apply this to a putt. No pressure here, John. Oh. Two out of three ain't bad, Steve. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now, uh, that's the putter and the laser device all in one. Now, apparently, well, I've, I know this because yeah. actually, I put this on my own put, putter. Yeah, that's your putter that yeah. you actually have attached to the device to. And this is the laser grip. So it, that, if you've, you know, you've got a putter that you mm. really like and yep. you, don't, you don't want to use the, 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 the laser putter, you can attach this to your own putter, get your own feel, and, uh, and use it on your, on your favourite putter. So yes, and next time we play our big money game, I'll get you to disable that, John, so well, it, to keep it legal, because we don't want you to, we don't want you to have any unfair advantage on me. Precisely, Steve. We yeah. won't be using this on the golf course yep. or during a, a comp, because it is a, yep. it's not legal to use a, a device like but this. But we can disable it for we that We can purpose. disable it, yep. yeah. So, Steve, what do you rate this, mate? I give it eight golf balls out of ten. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you why, and I'm not normally that favourable with products. I'm a bit of a harsh critic. You're, a hard, you're a hard task. Yeah, I yeah. am. Because this can be used, it's a visual aid, it can be used during a putt, so actually practically with a, with a shot, and it can also uh, give you the feedback that you desire, um, which a lot of training aids don't. So I'm really, really happy with Great it. Great stuff. Well, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 too, because you can use it indoors, outdoors, it can get you all lined up beautifully, so I'm going to be holding more putts. That's this week's Practice Makes Perfect. If you want more information, just go to the website, all the details are there, and we'll see you next week.